If you're looking for a place to go and find some trophies, this is the place to be in the charge of no fees. If you're on Xbox and need some gamer score, come over here, I'll help you get some more. My name is Ken Z Retro, the host of the show, gaming news and reviews and all you need to know. Because the weekend is finally here at last, sit back, relax, enjoy the Trophy Achievement Podcast. Ooh, goody goody gumdrops, less than 24 hours? Well, actually, less than 24 hours to go when I'm recording this, because I'm recording this on Thursday. Uh, but tomorrow, F1 2018 is out! Yeah! <laughs> uh, one of my friends said to me earlier today yeah, t- uh, that uh, I'm like a kid inside a sweet shop. That's how excited I am for this game tomorrow. And when and when I actually get round to the uh, that famous circuit, here's hoping I can break the Monaco curse tomorrow. No, actually, actually, no, scratch, scratch Monaco Curse tomorrow. But you guys know what I mean. Here's what kind of freaking Monaco Curse when I actually get round to the track. Ah, hello, good sir. Speaking of somebody who's actually been to Monaco, making his first appearance sit on the channel since E3, James Ray, tell us about that. How are you guys? I'm sorry, I'm too late for the party. I've only just started. You're actually just in time. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. I'm always light side. Be careful not to choke your ambition, oh. Kenzie Retro. Ha ha ha, nailed it! Oh ha ha, very funny! <laughs> very funny. Easy, easy. Right, anyway, let's. Wait, so let's, let's get take, into this. Let's take our appropriate positions. Oh, careful, careful, careful. What's up? Ah, right, so here we go, guys. So, um. Left free game hard guy, Spartan Commander 1990, this chief editor of Disabled Gaming Reviews here, and um, and um, thank you very much for the invite to join you in your podcast. Hey, Simon, man, like I say, this is his first appearance on the channel since E3. Uh, hard to believe that was only just a couple of months ago. Yeah, anyway, cheers. So, this is to Gamescom. Speaking of Gamescom, I'll Me? be... Uh, Mm-hmm. Um, I'll um, run through a couple of the conferences. Yeah, he's going to be running through NVIDIA and Microsoft, and I've actually got an article. Awesome well, 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 obviously, although I'm mainly a PC gamer, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, back in June, I've, I've actually upgraded to the um, NVIDIA GTX 1066 gigabyte. Excellent, yep. And uh, uh, speaking of NVIDIA, oh, I'll get to that shortly, guys. He knows me too well at this point, folks. He knows all my traits. He knows all my tropes and traits. Anyway, talking of, of a while we're on the subject of GameCom, I've got a nice juicy article from IGN regarding all the major announcements from Gamescom itself. But then again, remember, leave the PC announcements to me. Yeah, obviously... Yeah, James will be taking care of the PC announcements. I'll be taking care of the rest, and we'll take it. Console peasant. Hey, I heard that. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so yeah, as you can tell, this is going to be a very fun edition of the podcast because not only are we going to be going through the best parts of Gamescom, uh, there's also um, we've got I've got uh, some more articles outside of Gamescom. uh, One. Regarding Game of Thrones, one regarding Hitman, news on Assassin's Creed as well. There's um, some new content for Overwatch as well. What could the uh, new content be? And there's been a there is a release date officially confirmed for Shenmue Three. And well, um, well, um, first things first, guys. Um, reaching out to my readers. Mm-hmm. Right. So before before I so. First things first, I have actually got the um, Shenmue um, 1 and 2 remasters. Nice! I am. S- I really can't sugarcoat this. Really disappointed. Really? Yep. Considering how... Considering how big a following they gained after being released on the Dreamcast. Yes, but... You know the game itself was um, is actually very good, but mm-hmm. it's just the way that D three T ported it. 
very, very, very lazy job. Wow. First of all, um, first of all, you're still locked at 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second? Good grief. When are they going to have every single game running at 60? I mean, I mean, the only games that run at 60 FPS are games that have multiplayer components. And it's only the multiplayer components that run at 30 frames per se- uh, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second for the campaign, for Pete's sake, guys, come on! Well, not necessarily true. Yes, you've got your sports titles that run well, at 60 no, FPS. Well, well, not necessarily. You were, you were mentioning Gears of War. Well, on the Xbox One X, which, by the way, I own... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've only got a 1S, but I'm more than happy with that. Right, so when you're playing games like Gears of War 4 or or Halo 3 and, and amongst other titles, mm-hmm. you have a choice, graphics or performance. So basically, with performance mode, that means you, you would still be running at 1080p. But you would the frame rate would have been a lot been a lot better, mm-hmm. or scale up to four K graphics, but 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 still shackled at thirty frames per second. Yes. Oh, and by the way, guys, that is a word I don't use lightly. Shackled. Interesting. Talking of Xbox, same way. Um. There's a rumoured Xbox One subscription service. Uh, do we not already have one in the form of Xbox Live? Well, yes, but then again... Well, hmm. yes, well, yes, but then again, you know... It's actually more concerning about Game Pass. And why it's becoming in one big... big in, uh, in one big package. Well, yes, but then again... Interesting. Can I get my views on that? Fire away. Well, first things first. I thought this... Um, as a game reviewer, Game Pass can be a very good thing, and I'm seriously am um, taking advantage of two months for two pounds. And not, and not, I said actually, yeah. Um, let's say talking of uh, reviews, um, link to his uh, DGR blog and DGR Facebook page will be in the description below, as as they are in um, as they are in all my videos. The, the links to his blog and Facebook page are always in the description below. So feel free to check yes, them out. Yes, of course. Remember that we are in partnership, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and and of course, and of course. Uh, so here we go. This. Um, so here we go. This is uh, and uh, I mentioned F1 2018 at the uh, start of the uh, the show. Uh, I've got to the full achievements list right in front of me because F1 2018 comes out tomorrow. Bearing in mind, folks, I am recording this on Thursday for it to come out on Friday. Anyway, I forgot to do my usual introduction. Hello, my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro here. Welcome back to my channel if you are a returning viewer or welcome to my channel if you are here for the very first time. On Friday, it is Trophy Achievement Podcast, the one-stop shop for all your latest gaming news, rumours, and of course, those sweet points and trophies. But nevertheless, before we get into any of the gaming news, uh, I'd like to send a quick shout-out, as always, to Boomerang Rentals. Packages start from as little as £3.99 a month. Sign up today, get a 21-day free trial, and you get three free game rentals. If you choose one of the... If you choose one of the top tier uh, packages, you can play the latest games for as little as nine ninety nine a month. Ten a month. Yeah. Once you start renting, yes. <laughs> once you start renting, you're gonna start saving. I can testify to this. I have been using the service for about a year and a half now, and my word, the savings are incredible. I've saved nearly fifteen hundred quid. Since one thousand five hundred quid since started since I started using the service, that is how amazing. Yari, yari, does it? That's how amazing this. That's how amazing this service is. I can play the latest games, and I don't need to worry about buying I'm, them outright. Um, uh, if that's the case, I am Spartan Commander, and this is my favorite game rental service on the Citadel. Hey, <laughs> but, but um. By the way, we do have the same trophy achievement podcast to bring us Mass Effect 2. Talking of which, I have sadly had to part ways with the Mass Effect trilogy. I decided to trade it in so that it covers part of the cost for me getting F1 2018 tomorrow. Yes, 
But then again, you know. But then again, you know. I you could I, you could still get the games digitally. Absolutely, I can get the games all digitally. All three of them are now yeah. digital. For you see, man, fear not. All is not lost. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so anyway, let us get right into the news. Um, unless, oh then, of course, I decided, decided to start buying Starkiller Base, but uh, hey, that's a totally different video. It's all laugh at an industry that never learns anything, tee hee hee. Actually, hang on, hang on, that, hang on, I recognise that jingle. That means only one thing, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our gaming screw up of the week. And it's actually a follow-on from what I reported on just a couple of weeks ago. Now, for those of you who are regular viewers of the podcast or regular uh, or regular listeners, um, where you could just literally just do like do your housework and just listen to the podcast in the background. But I'm getting sidetracked. I reported on Spyro, the re the remaster trilogy, only having the first game available on disc and the second and third games being part being being only available to download rather oh. than being on the disc right oh. out of the gate. Oh. Oh, hang on there. Is the single player campaign on for Black Ops 4 as also a digital download? Is that the problem? Uh, it's, uh, no, because no, Black Ops 4 doesn't actually have a single player campaign this year. Thanks, Activision! <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist that. Yeah. Yeah, more shit angry. And because I'm co I think now I've just found an article here that the Spyro Reignited trilogy has been delayed. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why. Oh, Activision! <laughs> yeah. Basically, <laughs> yeah, the, the Spyro Remastered Day collection was supposed to launch in September. Right. Anyway, this article is on Polygon. Here we go. This is what we have. Activision Spyro the Dragon Remaster Collection needs a little more time to cook. No, you just need to put the second and third games available on disc instead of downloading them separately. The Spyro Reignited Trilogy, which was scheduled to hit PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on September 21st, has been delayed to mid-November, developer Toys for Bob announced this week. Paul Yang, co-studio head at Toys for Bob, said... On the Activision blog that the Spyro Reignited Trilogy needs more love and care, here's his statement. Everyone here at Toys and for Bob is so proud to be reigniting the original Spyro, Spyro Trilogy after all these years. We're deeply committed to getting these games right, so we've decided to move the release date of Spyro Reignited Trilogy to November 13th, 2018. That's like literally just a week after your birthday, come to think of it. I really hoped that you would be rescuing dragons and scorching Rhinox sooner, but the trilogy needs more love and care. In November, when you're exploring the, those dragon realms, Avalar, and the Forgotten Worlds, we know you'll agree the extra time was worth the wait. Activision announced the Spyro Reignited trilogy in April. The collection will include the first three games in the series, Spyro the Dragon, which by the way I'm covering on Throwback Thursdays now, uh, link uh, annotation to that uh, the start of my playthrough will be in uh, the end cards at the end of the video. Spiral 2 Ripto's Rage and Spiral Year of the Dragon. And add new features like a remastered soundtrack, updated analog stick controls, new lighting and recreated cinematics earlier this month. Activision confirmed that retail copies of the game will ship with only the first game on the disc. The rest will be available as a download. Oh sorry. Oh sorry. Oh sorry, don't worry guys. That is my damage control siren going off there. Yeah. <laughs> the re the real reason you should be delaying the game is to get the second and third <laughs> games available on disc. I mean it's not too big a problem if you're getting them digitally, but if, if, if you get if you get the trilogy digitally, but he knows what I'm on about. Choo -hoo! I'm very much on the digital train. Yeah. 
Because nowadays, you know, it's I mean, very hard to get PC games on disc. Yeah. But let's face it, nothing beats the feeling of seeing that physical artwork on the on the case. Yeah, I know. I do miss those days. But hey, but hey, I also remember the day when um when when every when uh, when everything was on the disc on the cartridge or disc and we actually had to unlock all the extra content through skill. Yep. Like like Goldeneye 007 on Nintendo 64, for example. Exactly. I mean, uh, there was like two bo- there was two bonus levels, I believe. One being Aztec and the other being Jungle. Yep, that's it. Boom! I know my gaming history. Um, you had to, and you had to complete the game on the hardest difficulty. Which... Double O Agent mode. Thank you very much. <laughs> this guy's good. Right. Anyway, on to the on to the more significant portion of this week's podcast. Yep. It's time for Gamescom! <laughs> goody goody. Here we go. Yes. Right. So, let's see. Uh, only, let's see. This, this is an article that I've got from IGN. By the, uh, this just says by IGN staff, so they all made uh, their own contribution towards it. Right, so... So anyway, uh, so there we go. This is how the article goes. The article goes, The second day of Gamescom 2018 has officially come to a close for deeper dives into daily news and announcements from Cologne, Germany, as well as exclusive previews and interviews with developers. Tune in to our live coverage of Gamescom every day from now until Thursday, August 23rd, which is when we're recording right now. Find out more info there. Yeah, 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 the how to watch guide. First day stream on you, blah, 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 blah. Here's a list. Here's our list of every major reveal announcement and video from Gamescom 2018 so far. Right. Cyberpunk 2077 new screen, new Cyberpunk 2077 screenshots and concept art. Ooh, goody. So we have some. Ooh, hello. These, these be very juicy. Oh, is that Metro? No, that's Cyberpunk 2077. Oh my, would those screenshots look good? Yeah. Those, oh, these look so good. And, and this, and, and this game is made. This game is being made by CD Projekt Red, the same guys that did The Witcher Three, which for many, and, which for and, many, sorry, which for many people. Sorry, 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 that's okay. Yeah, which for, and also, it's the company who's heading up the um, GOG dot GOG Galaxy service. Believe it or not, good old games. Yeah, I've actually, I've actually managed to get a few games from that as well. Um, what, so why, man? Uh, I got uh, what one series of games I got was uh, Drod or Deadly Rooms of Death. Yeah, um, I've actually got quite a fair bit of games because you know, me being mm-hmm. a PC gamer, you yeah. know, I can Jazz Jack Rabbit too. Ooh. Childhood nostalgia. Oh, that. Oh. It's always, always good to be able to relive your childhood nostalgia. That's why I've got Throwback Thursdays, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, to give us the good old-fashioned nostalgia fix. Yep, and we've got, uh, aha, we've got some news on Battlefield. I'll say the screenshots from Cyberpunk look amazing. I'll no, get, no, 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 uh, I'll no, get, no, 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 I'll get Battlefield the, 5. Now, you before, mean the yeah. Battle Royale slash Loot Box Simulator 2018 by the Habitants, would it? Oh, <laughs> take that, EA! <laughs> yeah, but like I guess, but, but like I said, you guys, you guys can see the screen, you guys saw the screenshots there as well. My, would they look amazing? Well, yes, yeah, because obviously, you know, we're talking about Frostbite Three. Now, Frostbite Three is Frost, a, yeah, Frostbite Three. That's EA. I'm talking Cyberpunk. Well, yes, but then again, Frostbite 3 is um, pretty spectacular. When do you think they'll have Frostbite 4? The Frostbite 4 engine, I would predict it would have been more or less when the uh, next generation of hardware comes out. Okay. Because obviously, you know, Frostbite 3 was uh, developed 
to take advantage of the extra hardware power for, for the Xbox One and PS4. Exactly. And um, which which means Frostbite 4 will be available for like the next generation, which is like two, three years away, possibly? Well, according to rumours, but then again, you know what I always say about rumours. Don't believe the rumours until they've officially been confirmed. Yeah, take it with a pinch of salt, ladies and gentlemen. A shaker of salt. Shaker of salt. Let alone a pinch. Pinch, shaker, pinch, shaker, six and a half a dozen. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, Battlefield 5 open beta date and new trailers. Now obviously, now obviously because of the... Don't screw this up, dice. Don't you screw this up. Now obviously because because of the setup, because of the setup I'm using the... Because of like the scene setup, you can, you can see you can see it on OBS, James. Because of the setup I've got, I can't actually show the footage of the trailers, but I can play yeah, them. I can. But yes, I am I very, I'm very, I'm, I'm very familiar about that. But why? Hey, go away, IGN. I, I, we don't want to sign up. Jog on. But what we can do is still play the audio, still play the trailer, but you'll just hear the audio of the trailer in the background. Yeah. So anyway, but then De again, so anyway, Devast but then again, uh -huh. yes, yes, yeah. But then again, you know what? I've got an idea for you. Fire away. When you're dealing with trailers, etc., etc., just give them links in the description so that way that they can find it themselves. Yeah, I'll I'll leave a link to the Gamescom article. I'll leave I'll leave a link to the Gamescom article in the uh, description below so you can actually check out all the the, the screenshots that I mentioned and the uh, the trailers as well. Yeah. With the extension, of course, in video, we'll get to that shortly. Actually, actually, to make it a little easier for you guys, I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link to the IGN article at the top of the description for this podcast. Right. So anyway, so anyway, let's have let's have a look at the trailer ourselves. Devastation of Rotterdam. That must be one of the expansions. Well, not necessarily. Well, not necessarily. The trailer's called Devastation of Rotterdam because you know, unless. Part of the campaign. It might be part. Of Would the, not surprise me. It might be part of the. But anyway, let's have a look at the trailer. Anyway, may contain content of inappropriate for children. Back this way. Xbox. Oh my word! That's for the blooming Battle Royale mode. Games play best on Xbox One. <sighs> well, you've got the fire pretty much being the equivalent of like the storm in Fortnite. Or the blue zone in PUBG. Fortnite over PUBG any day. And apart from that, you've got to pay for PUBG. Fortnite is free. Well, not necessarily true. But for the PV... Player versus the um, co-op mode. PV, uh, PVE. Yep, yeah, player versus environment team, mate. Um, you still have to buy the game. So, 
So basically, half of Fortnite is free. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the other half you have to pay for. Yeah, the battle royale component is free. Yeah, and that's what a lot of people are still playing right now. Anyway, so anyway. yes, I know the overly cliched game type, in my opinion. I wouldn't call it cliched. I would call that just being the overrated, the fad at the moment. Everyone seems to be jumping on board with it. So anyway, here we go. Um, Battlefield 5's open beta got, got a launch date. September 4th early access, well, origin access premium subscribers, or those who pre-ordered. Another one, seriously, is can EA, can EA stop milking us that much, please? Seriously, it's almost as bad as paying 80 quid for the Modern Warfare Master. <laughs> No, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. More shaded activation, come on, keep them going. <laughs> you really want me to do this, do you? 80 quid for Modern, for Mo Modern Warfare Remastered, which you could only get at the release of Infinite Warfare, and yet they still have the audacity to be able to release Modern Warfare Remastered separately later down the road anyway. Yes, so also microtransactions in a remaster, oh. and, also, and also you have to pay extra for the variety map pack. Remasters mean normally means all, all DLC at the back. Exactly. I mean, fair, fair enough. Fair enough for things like the Crash Bandicoot End Saint trilogy, which came out last year. Fair enough. The Stormy Ascent level that you had to buy separately. Fair enough. I can forgive. I can forgive them for that. But when it's a game that they had a hand in making and publishing, inexcusable. Simply inexcusable. Yeah. Right. So, anyway. and the and the release date for the beta for everybody else, September the sixth. So September sixth. September sixth. Fair enough. September sixth. Um, all the beta. Um, fair enough. Four days to enjoy, Four days for me to enjoy the beta. Beta, beta. Yeah, again, six and a half dozen. Anyway, anyway, Fallout. Anyway, or fall be for me uni stance. Wait, sorry, what's what? Before my uni officially starts on the 10th of September. Go! Cool. For four days to enjoy the beta. Can I, can I continue on that? <laughs> yeah. Dare I say, because like, 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 back when I did my top 10 games of 2016 on my previous channel, which has now since gone, um, uh, what was it? Uh, in my top 10 games of 2016, I included Battlefield 1 because I played the beta. Yes, so... No, hang on there. Hang on there. That ornament there. Was... Did you put that there to pay respects for your old channel? What one? You know the ornament which actually had the letter F on it? No, 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 no. That, that's actually something my mum made for my birthday either last year or the year before. Yes, press F to pay respects. Oh, ha, ha, very funny, come on! <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that was from a, yeah, that all started from Advanced Warfare on the PC, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and on the, and on the Xbox it would be press the A, or on PlayStation press X. But, anyway, Fallout 76, oh goody Fallout 76, this is going to be good. Well, yes. Fallout 76 gets an Xbox One X themed bundle and a new trailer. Let's have a look at this trailer. Well, here we go. I've watched that. <laughs> you will emerge. Today's episode, A New American Dream. What separates man from beast? <laughs> no, it's not his ability to tap dance. It is oh. his desire to build. After thermonuclear war, Seriously? man's I towering industrial marvels I may these. no longer stretch to yeah. the heavens. 
It then falls on you and the ingenuity of your fellows to rebuild the America we hold dear. Get started oh. with CAMP, Tom. the construction and assembly mobile platform. It's the workbench of tomorrow. Uh, Once established, your camp will not I'm only not provide you with much-needed shelter, but also a means to satisfy your hunger, quench your thirst, and even treat infection. The essential control. pillars of survival. Expand your camp by scavenging resources or mining raw materials the old-fashioned way. <laughs> then construct your home of the future. I declare this structure open. <laughs> <laughs> Home site is you are a sag, swan To move it to a better location. With your home secure, you can now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure yeah. to give your yes, altercation yeah, that personal yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah, or better the yet, sell device. these that's homemade implements to the, your uh, neighbors for profit. That's basically the workbenches from Fallout 4. That's basically what they are. Yes, so far. Remember, oh, capitalism, it's the only thing keeping us from being communists. The world may have been, but <laughs> keeping up with the Joneses has not. Ah, Super Mutant Head! Use those hard-earned profits to upgrade your <laughs> dwelling. When your home looks important, you are important. Oh no, it's all on fire! And we're all going to die! Now you've learned Stop how to forge the friends. new Stop American dream. <laughs> you are completely prepared to rebuild the greatest nation in the world. As a handpicked president in the book, of Vault appreciate. 76, it is Certainly your duty to carefully Ding. review your Vault Tech provided films yearly Maga. to fully prepare for the day when you will emerge. Guys. Oh my god, that trailer is just brilliant. The Fallout 76 themed Xbox One X bundle. We'll get into yeah. that shortly. Ah, Super Smash Bros. Goody, Super Smash Bros. Now we're getting somewhere. <sighs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate shows off new fighter gameplay. King K. Rule from the Don Donkey Kong Country series. Yep, the antagonist for Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. Dark Samus Chrome. Was it Dark Samus? What was? What game was Chrome for? From C H O R M. Nope. Have no idea. But then again, Alucard from Castlevania. Alucard, Alucard. Oh. Not not just any old Castlevania. Symphony of the Night. Yep. Still got that game. Yeah. Say, oh, by the way, did I not did I not tell you that I've actually got another little retro gem now? By the way. Whatever you do, Fraser, whatever you do, don't go on top of the screen. Don't go on top of the screen? To the top of the screen. Why? No, 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 just let's see here. Top of the screen. Why top of the screen? Hang on a minute. Right, oh. sorry about that, folks. Uh, the um, uh, the webcam decided to disconnect. Pleasant. Yes. Yes, yes, but unfortunately, fortunately enough, that cheat gave us 30 lives. Ah, yes, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. We both get 30 lives, and we're going to get annihilated in Contra still. That's a one. Contra! Yeah, which one, though? The original for the Xbox 360. It's backwards compatible on Xbox One. Really now? Yep. You can now play through Contra on your Xbox One. Right. Right. So anyway, um, where were we? New fighter gameplay. Okay, here we go. Smash Bros. <sighs> yeah. Let's have a look. Snake versus King K. Rool! 
against him playing his um, king. Oh, the, the, yeah, the, the fighter that had the, like, the leopard mask on. Yep. Oh. King was such a cool character in the Tekken series. Yes, but unfortunately with my friend Fraser West, he's lethal. Okay. Played with him a few times. Although I actually beat him last night at time of recording. <laughs> so you so you beat him on Wednesday night, and as martial law. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's the one. Yeah, there we go. So we've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey or or Isis or Osiris. Okay. We sat down with Assassin's Creed Odyssey game director Scott Phillips for a closer look at the Assassin's Creed Odyssey end game and the role of Greek mythology in the game's lore. We also got we also got to go up against a tough boss, Medusa. Ooh, goody Medusa! The the Gorgon. Gorgon, yeah, yeah, that's the big you, one. You look, you look at Medusa. You will turn to stone. Unless of um, course, unless of course you're playing Zelda and you get the mirror shield, and then Medusa turns to stone. Uh, yes, you're right. I mean, I mean, that's one way to turn someone's abilities against them. Yep. <laughs> So Assassin's Creed also got two new cinematic, tra cinematic trailers for its two playable protagonists, Cassandra and Alexios. Interesting. Right. And Resident Evil 2 remake shows our first screenshots. Resident Evil. That is so cool when you hear it. <laughs> first screenshots <laughs> and gameplay of Claire Redfield. Excellent. Okay. So we got our first look at the... Ah. I just got an email there regarding uh, last night's results from uh, the athletics competition that I was at. Um, but um, yeah, again, like I say, like I said, I sound like a, sound like a broken record at this point. Recording on Thursday, had an athletics competition last night. Got a new PB in the eight hundred meters. Woohoo! And personal best seeing me. And I've managed to hit my half century of long jump titles. Fifty. <laughs> Man, it was satisfying. Yeah. So, anyway, there we go, our first look at Resident Evil 2 Remake's co-lead Claire Redfield, which you can see in the gameplay show here, yada yada yada. Squeeze right. So, <sighs> right. Right, so here we go. Let's have a look at the screenshot. Oh my word, these look amazing. Yeah, indeed it does. Whoa! Ho -ho. Oh, yeah. That's William Birkin. Oh, 
Oh my word, it. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Now, what was that sound? Hmm? I, I, I think it was just the wind. Yeah, just the wind. Yeah. I'm hoping that the rest Sorry, of but I honestly thought it was an air raid siren. It does sound very similar to an air raid siren, yeah. But I'm hoping the Resident Evil 2 remake gives you the option to play with the static camera. I really hope it gives you that option. And then there's this, this new game from From Software. Those who know From Software know them for their Dark Souls games and Bloodborne. Prepare to die. Yep. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice gets a release date and the collector's edition. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. What do we have? We finally learned the release date of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice from Dark Souls developer From Software. And uh, check out the interview with two members. Yada, 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 yada. <sighs> Also found out some more about the Securo's upcoming collector's edition, which you can see below. Right, so the collector's edition, this is what it includes. The full game, limited edition steelbook, seven inch shinobi statue, map, three Sengoku era game <sighs> coins, a digital soundtrack, and collectible art book. And Release date. That's what we're after. We've got a release date, and the release date the release date is March twenty second, twenty nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um Ah, well, the Fallout 76 bundle, that's what Oh, no, it's just... Yeah, a uh, lot the, more the, bundles. Uh, the bundles. The bundles are just basically the console with the game. Yep, and with them um, Game Pass and Live now. We'll get into that shortly. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Time skip on that, uh, I'm not interested. Ho, 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 do we have to? Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Time skip, I'm not interested. Destiny 2 mind. Forsaken Gameplay, not interested. Yes, I don't like Destiny. Come at me, haters. Shadow of the Tomb Raider? Yeah. Tomb now Raider. you're speaking my language. Well, yes, Shadow but then again, got brand new before we get into that, that's shown in um, NVIDIA's um, keynote. Yeah, RTX 2080. Right, no, you know what? You know what? Before we get into that, I believe it's my time to um, to go through my cue the jingle, please. <laughs> oh boy, this is James's gaming screw up of the week. James, over to you. Right now, first things first. When it comes to PC, right. So if you're a PC gamer, as a matter of fact, a gamer in general. You familiar with the term GPU? That would be graphics processing unit. Go start for you, my friend. First try, boys. <laughs> Woo! First try. Now, first things first. When it comes to CPU and GPU design um, manufacturers, there are two. Well, three. Big hitters. Intel CPUs, but when it comes to GPUs, there's two companies. Nvidia and Intel. Mm -hmm. No, for the no. Let's talk a bit more about the very first conference in Gamescom. Mm -hmm. NVIDIA's press conference. This is where things get interesting. Oh, indeed it will, my friend. First things first. I don't know what on God's green air NVIDIA is doing. Mm -hmm. They're releasing now 
The majority of that press conference is showing off a new graphical feature called ray tracing. Mm -hmm. Um with very little gameplay actual gameplay footage but then again you know after watching the gameplay footage it was feeling as though it was running at 30 frames per second let alone 60. now well yes um and nvidia has actually announced um, a fair few graphics cards mm -hmm. The RTX 1060, the RTX 1070, mm -hmm. and the RTX 1080. Now, it's incorporating real ray tracing, yes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, ray tracing technology is um, relatively new. So, by the way, Razer, mm -hmm. can you hesitate to guess on how much a brand spanking new RTX 1080 would cost you? An RTX, a brand new RTX 1080. No Google. I'm watching you. I was checking social media. <laughs> sure. No, seriously, I was. <laughs> right. <sighs> brand new. In dollars. That helps! Probably someone who reads me about $400. Try $1,100. What?! What?! $1,100 for the GTX RTX 1080. Let's just round that to a thousand pounds! Yep. Holy crumbs! Yes, I know, but, uh, well, GPU prices has been deep been on the rise due to the whole um, cryptocurrency apocalypse, and a lot of people directly turning into mining cryptocurrency, but with the whole um, cryptocurrency storm over, GPU prices should be falling, but uh, no. During the Nvidia's conference, there was little to no, no, very, very little gameplay, actual gameplay footage, because obviously the majority of it was showing off what ray tracing is. But being honest with you, when it comes to graphics cards, mm -hmm. I would rather buy myself a GTX 1080. Right. You know, it's way too easy to get to get the um, RTX graphics cards. But there is no way in God's green earth I am paying that amount of money for a GPU. Yeah, so... Yeah. $1,100 is basically two of those. Latest. Two... Two Xbox, basically two Xbox One X's, basically. More than that. Yep. And I thought, and I thought Sony messed up with their um, PS3 pricing. 599 US dollars, 599 US dollars, 599 US dollars. Two seconds. Hello? I am actually in Fraser's house. Oh, right, okay. Just give me a ring when you're setting off so I know when to expect you. Have a lovely time. Love you, Mum. Bye. Love you, bye. I'll make sure I edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Anyway, <laughs> now, where were we? Over the Ding! Oh. Yeah, now, continue. Right, so, um, first of all, you know, a GTX 1080 is very capable of running in 4K. RTX ray tracing is good for immersion. Mm -hmm.
But do you really want a beefy graphics card now? You know, like the GTX 1080 was released about a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. Sorry, GTX 1080 Ti, my mistake. You know, I really, I really cannot cat. I can really, you know what? The next GPU I'm gonna buy is gonna be from in, from AMD. I'm gonna buy myself a Radeon. I'm probably a Ryzen five for that. So AMD from here on out then. Yep, I turned in. And so, because Nvidia is um. Is way too overpricing their graphics cards. Hmm. Yeah, uh, just inexcusable, Nvidia. Inexcusable. Yep. So. So, so thank you very much. So thank you very much for. Um, right. So that will be that for my gaming screw up of the week, um, Nvidia. I'm there. And their overpriced um, RTX graphics cards. Now, back to the Gamescom news. Right, we've got a trailer for Devil May Cry 5. And it's got a release date on it as well. You can tell. Xbox again. Of course, because, because the Xbox Gamescom. Now, why is he using a phone? You're up, Nico. You know I got you covered, asshole. Try not to get us killed on the way there. What on earth is he done to Dante? From Devil May Cry 4. No. Well, technically, it's definitely quite a problem with the Oh, they're doing my reboot. Yeah. Time freeze again. Okay. Has that always been a thing in the series? Yeah. Oh. So how much I pay attention to the only cry because I'm not even played any of Walking yeah, so you can come out Walking to the Do you do parties? Little bit of party. Little bit of party. And by special edition, he means actually playable and not the Japanese version. Because the normal setting we had over here with the regular edition was the hard setting over in Japan. Yes, yes, we understand. Clearly those pulling it over here didn't un didn't quite get the net. Yes, that was in the past. Some people are still feeling the bugs of it even like even like twelve years on. Yes, I know. I love these in the background, I'll get the back. Yeah, I'm the EMP4, uh, EMP4, Falcon. Perfect timing. Really? You have him stop just before they crash into him? Really? I haven't seen that before. Yeah. What the? Wait, 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 wait. Is that the OG Dante design? Is that OG Dante design? <laughs> that way. Holy yes! But then again, yes, but then again, the there we go. March eighth, twenty nineteen. That's when it comes out. <laughs> Games play best on Xbox One. Goody goody gum drops. <sighs> Advertising. He plays best on Xbox One. <laughs> he makes it, he makes it sound so dark and intense. Yes. Why? Why did I make them? Why am I making my voice sound like I'm Shadow the Hedgehog? Focus, Kenzie. Uh, we've got it. We had a new trailer for Life is Strange Two. 
New animated short from Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch. Uh, news on Verona. Time to skip. Not interested. Oh, we've got. Ah, we have screenshots. We have some screenshots for the Spyro Reignited trilogies. Well, this Unreal Engine 4, of course, is going to look stunning. James, are you kidding me? Stunning's an understatement. Trust me, I've seen a lot of UE4 games coming out. Well, UE4 games, like um, the new Unreal Tournament. Yeah. Oh, there's even a comparison as well. Yeah. As always with HD collections. Mm. Night time! Day time! Night time! Day time! Walk in the wild side cliche. Dang! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so is what it this is the spiral we need. Not that Skylanders nonsense. What? Anyway. James, careful with your rucksack with the glasses. Oh, too close. Good. Anyway, uh, what, do you, what do you need I to mean, get? I was gonna say, what do you need to get out of here? Ah, excuse me, Kenzie. Oh, tails. Hello. <laughs> I heard you were bashing Sonic Shadow the Hedgehog. No, I was, I was, I was making my voice sound like I was Sonic. I was making my voice. Ow! Ow! Come on! <laughs> I was making my voice sound like I was Shadow the Hedgehog. I was questioning why I was doing it. I wasn't bashing. I was questioning why I was doing what I was doing. Oh, never mind. Yeah. To quote Bane from the Lego Batman movie, that was unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, yellow card tells you're bugged. Oh, hello! Diablo 3 coming to the Switch! Woohoo! Hardly surprising. Diablo 3 isn't exactly the, uh... And at least we don't have to worry about that infamous error 37. Excuse me? That was some setting. No, 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 Diablo no, 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 yeah. Error 37! Error 37! Error 37! Error 37! <coughs> yeah. Right. Yep, yeah, and we've already... We... We... We have already... Hello? There's one of the things like right? NVIDIA talks about that. Dark Pictures Anthology announced. Dark Pictures Anthology? Creators of Until Dawn have announced a new horror game anthology called the Dark Pictures Anthology, which will first launch with Man of Medan, or Medan, or how you pronounce it. Uh, Man of Medan, probably. Interesting. Oh, a mobile app for Xbox Game Pass announced. Okay. Uh, yep. Xbox Game Pass users will be able to manage their games and subscription and install games straight to their Xbox One from the app. Nice! Sounds sweet. Nice when you're on the go. Fortnite themed park. A Fortnite theme park, eh? Uh, enough of Fortnite, please. Ah, this is what you were after. This is what you were going to tell me about. Yep. The Halo Master Chief Collection being added to Xbox Game Pass. We know this from E3. Yep. So, Game Pass humanity. Whatever On top of that, it's coming out of Xbox, Xbox One and Xbox One as well. Ah, Sacred Icon Suite! Yes! Sacred Icon Suite 2. I love this! I will continue my campaign against the humans. That's not going to happen. Jesus. Halo always has epic music. What's still moving? What's still moving? What's still moving? 
September 1st! That's when it comes to Game Pass! And also, the party is also coming! This is what this big update is going to be here. Right, now. so what's this big patch or big update? Okay, now first things first, I am, I am a member of the MCC Insider. Well, Halo Insider program. Yeah, but James, my favourite piece of Halo music, period. Remastered versions of Halo 2 Anniversary. First time I heard this, guys, I thought, holy, yes, this is great. And that gives you goosebumps every time. Yes, but my um, favourite one is actually Punishment. Or Heavy Price Paid from Halo 2. Okay, so let's... Let's, let's see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hands on with Remedies Control. Dark Siders 3. Star Fox gameplay for Starling Battle for Atlas. Because you can play a Star Fox in the Nintendo Switch. Oh yes, exclusive characters. So yep. Calibur 2 all over again. Well, for Soul Calibur 2 it worked because you had one for each platform. You had Heihachi from Tekken on the PlayStation, Link for for the GameCube. And what did we have for Xbox? Don't know. Well, you know the only two I can remember. Sinking City, The Hunt Hunt Showdown, eh? Coming to Xbox Game Preview, okay. Mm -hmm. You not love this one. Oh, no, this one. Now, down. It's basically like... Oh, you... bridge. Hang on. There we go. Monsters the gold. He's right behind you. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Right, got it. She's down. Okay. There's a lot of team coming in. In the bushes. In the bushes. Alright, got him. He's burning. He's burning. Careful. Yeah. He's dead. Oh! Permadeath! Okay! Spider nighttime. You bringing dynamite? I'm bringing my tit. Other players would just someone scoop the birds. Oh, Coming from the flare, from the flare. I'm gonna try to take this guy out. Fast, fast, fast. I I I I don't think I like this. Second crew coming up. What 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 like I'm not the biggest fan of Destiny. My word, this one looks good. good. Oh my god, it's a giant spider! They can see us all on the map, watch out. Escape with the bounty, they are all over us. Get out of here. One play inside here, burning springs coming out to you. Yep. <laughs> Basically, another one of these motherfuckers. Two dudes there. This part has got to be around here somewhere. Haven't seen one of those before. Oh, God. Are they behind the Oh, God. There's a player behind me. Hello, hello, hello. I was being sarcastic, by the way. I'm going to kill you guys. I think I shot two of them. I think I shot two of them. Hunt Showdown. Coming to Xbox Game Preview. Cry Engine, as usual. So. So we don't have a release date for it yet. Oh, by the way, can I? By the way, can I give you a little update as well? But like, 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 like I said, what, what was the um, what's the big patch for the Master Chief Collection you were going to be talking about earlier? Oh yes, yeah. so the Master Chief Collection patch or MCC. They're completely redoing the menu. Okay. <sighs> So obviously I can't get on, get go into too much detail because you know NDAs, non disclosures agreements. Okay. Yeah. So 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 so, 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 so
So yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Hello. Hello. Well, yes. <laughs> no, no. We've got news on or <laughs> Right. So can we? Right. So I'll continue on with that. 